Hi there and welcome to our channel Flying Fox English. My name is Ruth and my name is Joseph and today we're going to look at prepositions of time at, on and in. Really, really, really easy and we'll come straight to them right after our intro. So the first preposition of time we're going to take a look at is at a quarter past eight. So, Joe, what time do you wake up? At seven o'clock I get up. Okay, good. Now, we say at night, at midnight, and also with meal times when you eat. So, we say at breakfast time, at lunch time, and at dinner time. We also say at the weekend. So the at the weekend means those two special days, Saturday and Sunday. Good. We also use at with holidays. So Joe, can you tell us two holidays when we can use at? At Christmas. At Easter. Very good. Let's take a look at the preposition of time on. Now we use on with days and dates. So let's take a look at days first. So this would be days of the week. So we say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Sunday, and on Sunday. Very good. Give me that. Okay, now let's take a look at dates. So, I will say these dates, okay, Joe? It's a little bit more difficult. So, we can say on the 16th of May 2013, on the 25th of December, and we also say on Christmas Day and not at Christmas Day because we're talking about one particular day. of time that we're looking at is the preposition in. Now we use in with longer periods of time. So periods of time like months. So we say in January, in May, in October. We also use them with years. So we say in 2018 in 1998 and in the 80s. We also use in with seasons. So we say in winter. Do you want to continue? Mm -hmm. In winter, in spring, in summer, in autumn. Very good. So in winter, in spring, in summer, and in autumn. So we go to the beach in the summer. In summer, okay. You can go skiing in winter. Very good. We also use in with the longer parts of the day. So we say in the morning, in the afternoon, 
and in the evening. But don't forget we say at night. Now, when we have a day with these longer parts of the day, we have to use on. So we say on Friday morning, on Saturday afternoon, on Monday evening. Okay, so let's check, Joe, if you understood that. When do you have rugby training? because Joe plays rugby. When do you have rugby training? On Monday afternoon, on Thursday afternoon, on Saturday morning. So three times a week, and you said that perfectly. Very good. Now I hope you enjoy this lesson on prepositions of time. So just remember those three little prepositions, at, on, and in. Now, if you found this video useful, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, now I'll do a few slides to summarize all that we have learned in this lesson. And thank you very much. See you soon. Bye. Bye.